By now, we've all seen the video of students running from the school after the shooting started. Among them, the younger brother of an MSU student. Noah Lieberman says he didn't see the video until he knew his brother was okay. And as he tells our Chelsea Snyder, at that point, he was in shock and disbelief. My brother had just texted me. He said, nobody freak out, but uh, there's a shooter at our school. I evacuated. I'm running home right now. Noah's 14-year-old brother Connor is a freshman at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and was in the freshman building during the shooting. He told Lieberman once he figured out what was happening, he ran. His friends were in the, the freshman building where it was happening, so they were texting each other in a group text, uh, telling each other they heard gunshots. Lieberman graduated from the same high school in 2015 and is now a journalism major at MSU. He told me once he learned his brother was safe, he immediately turned on the live news coverage during class and was in disbelief. You first hear, oh, there's one, there's one person dead. Then the next thing you hear, there's six people dead. The next thing you hear, there's 17 people dead. And a after the fact that it's, it's not just a number, it's actual people and actual people in my community. He's shocked the shooting happened, despite all the security measures the school has taken. I have people that visit from here and they go, wow, why do you have so much security? Why do you have so much fencing? Why is it so hard to get into the school? And you see this is the reason why and it still couldn't prevent it. And that was Chelsea Snyder reporting. Noah says his brother is still pretty shaken up, but is doing okay. He thinks his family will be in shock for a while, but will eventually heal. Noah and the suspect, Nicholas Cruz, are only a year apart in age, but Lieberman says he'd never heard of Cruz before yesterday. We'll let you know if there are any new details in the investigation.